हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट ऑन क्लिक इवेंट इवेंट इन साइड योर बटन सो बेसिकली वेन एवर यू प्रेस द बटन हेयर इन साइड योर वेब पेज दिस ऑन क्लिक इवेंट ट्रिगर्स सो बेसिकली इफ आई हिट दिस बटन यू विल सी दिस अलर्ट बॉक्स शोइंग हेयर ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट यू हैव क्लिक दिस बटन वन टाइम इफ आई क्लिक दिस बटन फॉर द सेकेंड टाइम इट विल शो यू आई हैव क्लिक दिस बटन टू two times so this is the event i am talking about so whenever you click a button this on click event triggers and this display this alert message that you have clicked this button n number of times here so i can click this button here infinite number of times and it will display me the number how many times i have click this button so we will be building this application and understanding the concept of on click event handler inside vanilla javascript we will not be using any sort of third party library which is jquery or any sort of library this is all be happening inside pure javascript so we will be handling that how to attach on click event handler inside your button tag so for that you just need a index.html file inside your text editor so just create it and just give it a title of button on click event and for this guys we will simply need a button element so simply declare a button and just have click me so now if you open this inside your browser you will see a simple button on your screen that click me so if i now click this button nothing will happen because we haven't attach our on click event handler so for attaching these event handler guys there are three methods out there so i will be showing you all the three methods with complete example so if you want the full source code that uh, i will be showing you inside this video if you want to copy paste the source code if you want to get this source code i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website codingsiksha.com so the link of that blog post will be there inside the description of this live stream so you can go to the description of this live stream to copy paste all the source code so that now the very first method by which you can attach the event handler by giving a attribute so there is a attribute called as on click so this is attribute so here you can mention the code that you need to write so i need to show a alert message so i can simply say hello world so if your function is very small then you can write the definition here itself you can see alert now if you open this now you will see a alert message of hello world so you can see that so this is the very first way by which you can attach the on click event handler to your button element so let's suppose your function is long now you can mention the name of the function whatever you need to write here click me is the name of the function followed by parentheses and after that you can define your function inside your javascript function click me and now you can write your code here any code that you want to do so this will also work you will see that so now we need to print out the number of times we click the button it is very easy we can declare a variable global variable count so it will be equal to 0 and inside this function we can concatenate or we can add plus is equal to 1 so this will add 1 uh, to every time when we click this button to this count variable and then we can display this you have clicked the button this much number of times so now basically this is the logic here we have declared the global variable outside the function which is count which is initialized to 0 inside the function we are adding it 1 every time we call this function when we click this button and then we are printing out how many times you click this button if i click this button now you will see you have clicked this button one time again if i click you have clicked this button two number of times you can see that so this is the first way by which you can build out this application now i will show you the second way the second way is slightly different you don't need this attribute instead you will need a id 
so here you need to attach the id here or button so what we can do is that we can now write here document dot get element by id so here you we can mention the id that we have given to the button element which is button and here we can add the event handler which is add event listener so we need to attach the click event handler so when we click this button so we can mention the method name which we have right written here which is click me that's it so this is the line that we have written guys we have find out the element by its id that we have given which is button and then we are attaching the event handler by using add event listener and then we are mentioning the name of the event which is click and then we are mentioning the name of the method which we are calling which in this case we are calling click me so in now if i run this this will also run here you will see that so this is a second way by which you can attach this and the nice thing about is that you can if you want to you can write this like this also you don't need the declare the function separately you can just copy paste the code right here inside the event so this is called as anonymous function so here you haven't declared a separate function you are writ written the body inside this only so this is called anonymous arrow function so this is the latest es5 syntax of javascript you can also do this like this so now if you run this this will also run you can see that now the third and the last way it is very simple uh, for this you also need the button id so you need the id but uh, in this document dot get element by id we will mention the id which is button and now we will say on click simply we will write on click and then we will write the function which is function like this and then you can write your logic so this will also work so here what we are doing is that we are only mentioning the event name here followed by document dot element uh, element by id dot on click so there are various events out there if you see in the drop down on about on change on click on close so you can also do like this so if you now run this application it will also work here you will see that and just to make it shorter you can also use arrow function syntax just eliminate the function you don't need to write this is the latest version many developers use it so this is a new syntax so these are the three methods guys you can attach on click event handler to your button tag so i uh, hopefully i you would like this video if you like it then please hit the like button and also comment on this video how you like it and how you want my future videos to be and i will be seeing you in the next live stream